Hey, welcome back! I'm just loving the new LEGO Animal Crossing sets. They're so basic but so adorable in their, you know, cartoony colours and nice simplistic builds, but they still just have these really nice bold designs. This is my character that I, yeah, that I put together previously, so I brought, I brought me in so that I can hang out in here too. I don't know about the ratio, but anyway. Today we are building bunnies outdoor activities. This one's got like cherry trees in it and, oh, a tarantula. Awesome many good things in here we're gonna be able to I'm, I'm gonna really want to make a whole big animal crop like build my island in yeah once we got all the sets done anyway let's have a look at the details rather than watching me butcher the box there are 164 pieces in this set it's $30 in Australia $20 in the US and we've got two bags we've got our instruction book and no stickers there are no stickers in these sets okay so obviously we've got one character in here it is bunny I've never had bunny on my island but I think that she is just very very cute I believe she's a peppy villagers I always like having peppy villagers on my island they're just the sweetest I love her head mold she's just so cute she has got a marshmallow on a stick because she's coming here as a camper you know how like the campers come to the campsite and you can like just talk at them incessantly and like over and over again say you want to come say you want to come say you want to come say what to come say what about now what about now until <laughs> it can like stay uh but yeah or you can hit them with your net like i like to do sometimes when the you know when it just gets a bit boring and i mean the villagers are always so nice when you whack them with a net you get to see the grumpy side which is quite fun but probably you shouldn't do that so all right so let's start building let's start building bunny's adventure bunny's outdoor activities so bunny's only a temporary visitor to the island so she's got a little stool here we've got a little campfire for her to roast her marshmallow over she looks so cute on that <laughs> so, so cute she also has a tent now uh they've generally just got a radio for playing some really pixelated music because pixelated the way to describe music that's how it sounds to me they've got a, a sleeping bag or a little sleeping cot and a lamp or a little you know a little camping light doesn't look like we have a light in here but bunny fits so perfectly onto that bed we've got two big yellow panels now to just basically meet in the middle and make a very rudimentary tent it is perfect like it's just cartoony with <laughs> with fabulous primary colors it looks so cute i mean there's not a lot to it but it just looks absolutely perfect i would still love to see some animal crossing sets that are a little bit more complex for uh, for adult builders but you know even as an adult builder i'm finding these absolutely delightful and i really just want to keep building on them now we've got a little raised section and the new tree trunky bit that we saw before in the previous part of the animal crossing build got a tarantula up here on our on our foresty level now we have got a place to store all our tools so we've got a net we have got a spade we've got an axe and we have got a vaulting pole because this has got a little interactive movement we'll we'll build it in a moment but we have our little connecty bits here to connect to this now we'll just pop it at the back of the tent at the moment because that's what the instructions say to do but you can move them around wherever you want we'll have a bit of play with that at the very end okay next part of the next level of the island i love the fact that you just kept like from the next level of your island for quite a decent amount of time i've started replaying the game so that i can find out what it's like from the beginning because i basically did everything and then got bored so it's so fun to go back and do it again so this is the next level uh obviously i've got a ladder if i'm able to get up here we've got a little waterfall coming down with some little froths of water at the bottom and we've got a spot for the vaulting pole to actually vault over the water and into the ground <laughs> straight into the ground moment it is the vaulting pole of death but uh it shouldn't be when we actually get the rest of the build done so let's pop this here <laughs> it could be the vaulting pole of straight onto the tarantula get bitten and sent back to your house hold on bunny doesn't have a house how does that even work we're up to bag number two and it's already looking absolutely adorable so this is the next part of the raised part of our island i i do have an issue with the fact that the raised parts are not high enough so once again obviously trying to keep to a part count but i might be modifying that now we've got our little diggy hole bit for a fossil there's actually a little box in the middle of what we're building here so it's going to be something hidden in the ground obviously not the fossil but we could put like the little fossil hole on the top of that yeah on the top of that box and put the fossil inside here we go here's our ladder thank you finally we can get up to the next level we've got some bells in this hole so building on the top of that a rock so when you hit the rock with your uh with your with your axe or with your spade which I like to do with my shovel and then you whap it over which you don't want to do because that just destroys it but if you whap it then a bell comes out and if you keep whapping and if you can like make this really really sequence well you can get lots and lots of bells okay we've got a spare one which I popped in here we'll get this one off let's put that over on the side oh and we've also got a butterfly to catch I feel as though this is like the 
purple emperor butterfly maybe I tried to think out of all the butterflies that you can actually catch what it might be but I think that might be the closest one to what it might be anyway all right not sure what the flowers are but we've obviously done a bit of breeding there because they're pink they're not the the colors that you start with Oh, very exciting. Okay, let's get Bunny over here and you can basically jump from the rock straight into the tree. Perfect. That vaulting pole is absolutely dangerous, but it serves its purpose and looks really cute. <laughs> Even if it's not really spaced. We just need to move the tree, I think. We'll need to muck around with it a bit. Speaking of trees, we are building a tree. We built this in the previous one, like same design of tree. This one has got a stick in it because when you shake the trees... Oh, and there's also a flower in it. Oh, okay. Uh... I don't know that I've ever had a flower fall. I suppose it's a hair accessory to fall out of the tree. And that, yeah, that can happen. You can get little bits of clothing. And now you get furniture out of the tree. You don't get clothing. Anywho, so we shake it. We have got a branch in there. We've got some little autumnal coloured leaves down the bottom. Or is that the end of winter? End of winter coloured leaves underneath the tree. So oh, I'm just looking forward to hopefully having more waves of these sets because yeah this is what we've got so far and then you can muck about with it. I reckon we're gonna get spring with cherry blossom trees. Maybe we'll get acorns because you can shake the trees and get acorns and pine cones and all sorts of fun things. Right just having a bit of a fun maneuver configure of all of these and see how I like it. So maybe we can put the, I mean I really think we obviously need more pieces Though it's a standalone set, it's really very cute. But I want more pieces to kind of expand it out and maybe make some of these bits further away. Maybe if the tent backs onto that little bit of, yeah, I, I think I, yeah, I think I like that. Yeah, I like that, I like that. So I'll just go back in and I will get all my little bits of connecting green plates and yeah, put it together as I've sequenced it before. And this will be my current setup. Oh, oh, hold on, maybe I can just, if I just move the butterfly, I can then move the ladder around. The ladder can be on the side, which seems a bit more sensible because it'd be a bit hard to get, yeah, to get Bunny in there. Then we can have the little waterfall, the watery bit in between. <gasps> nice! We'll just connect this little tree on the end. There we go. Now, now Bunny can go up here, go all the way across to the end, but there's no ladder on that end, so let's just go back again. <laughs> go back down the ladder but that's fine it looks really cute like this now we can also add it on obviously to our uh, to our house build here maybe with this little plate here off the edge I mean that looks a bit dinky at the moment but it's also very adorable oh my goodness we can pop the tent right up next to the house oh so many ways we could configure this I do yeah the the second level or sorry the first level up on the island well is it the second level is the first the ground level and then the next level up it's not high enough for behind the houses or behind that tent so I really do want to build that up a bit but for the ratio just within Bunny's visit like in that bunny set by itself it looks okay but if you add it behind the house it looks way too short so obviously some modifications are going to need to happen here but oh my goodness it's so cute i'm having absolutely too much fun building these and replaying animal crossing from the very beginning it has revamped my love for this oh my gosh okay all right let me know your thoughts on this set check back in because obviously there are more sets to build and oh goodness me we got so much to do <laughs> I'll see you again for another video really soon. Bye.